Hi, I'm Miss Annabelle and I teach at Dunlap Elementary School in South Seattle. I work with teachers and young scholars like you on lots of things, including noticing how our emotions, bodies, and brains all work together. It is paying attention to what is happening right now with kindness and curiosity. A part of this is being aware of how we learn and grow, no matter what our age. I'm still learning and growing too. And that is what I'm here to talk to you about today. When I was your age, I would do my homework after school, and sometimes my work was great, and other times, mm, it was not so great. When I took a test, it felt great to get an A, and when I played volleyball, it felt great to win. It felt terrible, though, to do poorly on a test or lose a game. And these days, as an adult, when I mess something up at work, I often feel the same way as when I was your age. But the thing is, is that if we focus only on the end result and not on thinking about how we got there, we don't learn as much. Every day there is so much to learn, which is what makes life interesting. The more we look at every experience we have is a as a chance to learn and grow, the more we learn and grow. So what if we start a new experience with the question, no matter what happens, what can I learn from it? This is so much more helpful to our learning than focusing only on whether we fail or succeed. So if you have a big assignment or a game coming up, before you start, you might say, okay, this might be hard, but no matter what happens, what can I learn from it? Another way that we learn and grow is while we are doing something, pause and notice what is happening with your body and what you're learning. Okay, try that with me now. If you are standing, pause, notice your feet on the ground and, the, and how your feet and the ground support you. Take a moment to just notice your breathing in and out without trying to change the way you breathe. Then notice and ask yourself, what am I learning right now? Now, if you're sitting like I'm sitting, pause and notice your bottom in your chair and how your bottom and the chair supports you. Take a moment just to notice your breathing. So breathe in and out without trying to change the way you breathe. Then take a moment to notice what you're learning right now. You might ask yourself, what am I learning now? Now, if you play a sport, this is kind of like a timeout. It is a time to pause, reset, and learn. Now, after we do something, a good way to learn is to reflect back on what went well and what didn't go so well. One way to do this is to ask yourself, next time, what do I want to keep? So what do you want to keep? What do I want to stop? And what do I want to start doing? When you are looking at what we want to stop and start, it is so important to do that with kindness towards yourself. And knowing that during our whole life, we are all learning and growing. Did you know that scientists have found that when we do make a mistake, that word I don't really love, but if we do, if we beat ourselves up about it, we are less likely to grow and learn. Now, if we treat ourselves with kindness, we are more likely to grow and learn. One kindness practice that I like for myself is this. Now, try it with me. First, think about a small or medium, medium-sized thing that happened this week that you wish had gone differently. Now you can close your eyes, or if you like, you can look down at the floor, or look at me, whatever works for you. 
Now imagine that your most supportive person, either a friend, teacher, family member, or even imaginary superhero is sitting across from you. See if you can imagine what they look like. Imagine them smiling with you with all of their love and support. What words might they say to you about what happened this week? It might be something like, you are an awesome kid and I know you learned something. Or it can be something like, you are hardworking and capable. What can you take forward from this for next time? Or even just, I love you and you are doing your best. Whatever the words are that you need to hear to grow and learn with kindness, imagine what those words are from them. What is it like to imagine this kindness coming to you? So, to review, you can start with the intention of learning. Pause and notice how you're doing in the moment. And then afterwards, reflect and think about what you want to stop, start, and keep. And most importantly, practice being kind to yourself. Thank you. You guys have a wonderful day.